Hello friends. In continuation with the previous video where I talked about the two functions that is known as is error and the if error. Now in this video, I'll be talking about two more functions, two more logical functions that is known as not function and the if and a function. So let us see practically that what are these two functions and how we can use it in the Microsoft Excel. So first of all, we'll be talking about the not function. So the not function in Microsoft Excel is a logical function that reverses the logical value of its argument. Now let us understand it. What do you mean by reversing the logical value? So here it says if the argument is true, then not will return false. If the argument is false, then not function will return true. So whatever is available in the solution, not function will just make it reverse. It is mainly used when you want to taste the opposite of a condition. So here I'm giving one very simple example that is we are having here true in this cell and false in this cell. So here I write down equal to not press tab and in the not function we have to use the logical. So I'll select this cell here that is B17 cell bracket complete press enter. So see now what we are getting here we are getting the answer here false. So not of true is equal to false. And now here in this cell if I type equal to not press tab and if I select this cell that is B18 cell bracket complete press enter. So not of false is true. So whatever is available here it will just make it opposite. So true will become false and false will become true. This is the simplest example of not function. But now let us go further here. So here we are having a scenario where you want to display fail if a student score is not greater than or equal to 50. That is if the marks of the students are less than 50, then the student will be failing. If it is more than 50, then he or she will be passing. We'll take this example where we are having the students and their marks are written out of 100. Now here we'll be using the combination of not function and the if function. In this cell that is D34, I'll be typing here equal to if press tab and now I have to write down the logical test. So I'll be writing here not function bracket and then I'll be selecting this cell here that is C34 and I have to check whether C34 is greater than or equal to 50 because we want to check the marks whether they are greater than or equal to 50. If it is greater than or equal to 50, then the result will be pass. If it is less than 50, then the result will be fail. Now see here what I'm doing, I'm not simply writing if C34 is greater than or equal to 50. What I'm typing here, first of all, before this uh, C34, I'm typing here not. So not of greater than or equal to 50. So if your marks are not greater than or equal to 50, then what should be the result here? I put here comma and what will be the result here? It will be fail. Okay, just understand this thing that we are putting here not function. If I would have kept here directly if bracket C34 greater than or equal to 50, then I would have written here first of all pass and then fail. Yeah, but here we are writing this is not. So whatever is written in this bracket, we are just taking its opposite. So if the student marks are not greater than or equal to 50, what should be the result? The result has to be fail. Comma and now if this is false, yeah, if it is not greater than or equal to 50 means it will be it will be greater than or equal to 50. So if this is greater than or equal to 50, then the result will be pass. And see here I'm writing fail and pass in double quotes. This I've already talked about in the if functions. If you have not seen that video, please check out that video separately. So here I've completed the bracket and now this is how we use the not function. So not function will take opposite of this, whatever is written in the bracket. So equal to if bracket not bracket C34 that is this score if it is greater than or equal to 50 if it is not greater than or equal to 50 then it should be fail and otherwise it should be pass. I press enter so see this is pass because it is greater than or equal to 50 and now I drag the formula down like this and now here I'm getting fail because this is 40 here also I'm getting fail because it is 30 while rest we are having here pass pass pass. So friends this is how we will use the not function normally we use the not function along with the if function. So let us go further here now. So we'll take now the second function here in this video that is if NA function. Now what is this if NA? The if NA function in Microsoft Excel is used to handle the NA error specifically. Okay, so not available error. It lets you return a custom value when a formula results in not available while leaving other errors unchanged. So here we'll be writing like this the syntax of this if NA equal to if and a bracket we'll be putting some formula or expression and if this formula expression is returning us specifically an error then we can mention here that what we want to show 
as a message okay earlier in the is error and if error we put the error message as error so here also we can put some error message if this uh, formula or expression is returning some na value now here it says when to use if na when you use formulas like vlookup hlookup match function and the value you are searching for uh, isn't found so normally we use also this uh, if na function with the vlookup function and the Edge lookup or match function. After these logical functions, I'll be creating a separate videos on v lookup, edge lookup, x lookup, match function, index function. Okay, so we'll be having the separate thing. So there also I'll be showing you this example of if and a. When you want to display a custom message, example not found instead of showing NA, because see normally whenever we see these kind of error NA as the final result, we don't like this thing. So instead of NA, we can also have some kind of a message that is not found or missing value or whatever. Yeah. So this is how we are using the if NA function. Now let us take one example here. So here we are going with the same example that we have taken in the earlier video in the is error and if error. So here I want to divide the numerator by the denominator. But here we'll be using the if na, and also you can see that some of these denominator they are not having any value. They are having this na na in the denominator. So definitely, when you are having na in the denominator, then definitely here will be by default will be getting the na error. But we don't want to see the na error. We want to see some kind of message. So let us type here the formula. So here in this cell that is D73, I type here equal to if na bracket. Now I have to put the formula here. So I'll select this B73 slash C73. So 100 I have to divide by 5 comma. Now if this B73 divided by C73, if one of the value is not having the value that is it is uh, not available, then what I want to see as a error message missing value. Okay, I can write down here missing value or I can write down here data missing in the double quote. Remember that this double quote because we are typing here the text. So we have to put double quotes. So in the double quotes, I have written here data missing bracket complete and that's all. Okay, now again, I'm repeating in this particular video that here I have put semicolon. But in your Excel version, you have to put comma because I'm using the German version. So I'm putting here semicolon. Okay, and not comma, but you have to uh, put comma here. So equal to if NA bracket B73 that is numerator divided by denominator. If there is some problem with the NA error, then it should show us this message data missing. Press enter. So here we get the answer 20. This is correct. Yeah, 100 divided by 5. It will give you the result 20. Now I drag the formula down. And now here I'm getting that message data missing, data missing because here I'm having that no value. Okay, it is having NA. So that's why here I don't want to see that NA. I want to see this message data missing. So immediately this will come up in my eye and I can see that, okay, what is the problem here? This is where we are using this if na. Now let us see here the difference between the if na and the if error. So in the previous video, I also talked about that if error. Please check out the video. The link I put up over here on the top. If na, it handles only the na error, just na error. If you are having any other errors like this division by zero or value error, then it will not check. That is this if na. While if error, this if error function can check all the errors, including the NA error also. Okay, so if error is much more stronger or much more powerful than the if NA. If NA is better when you want to ignore only the NA errors, but still see other errors useful for debugging. So I would suggest that rather than using the if NA, you can go for the if error because if error function will take care of all the errors. But here I wanted to show you one example of if NA. Now finally, you must have seen these two errors also division by zero. What is division by zero? If you are having zero in the denominator, then definitely it will give you the error. That is, you cannot divide by zero. Anything divided by zero is infinite. So that is what we mean by this division by zero error. Now what is this value error? If you don't know about this value error, then let me explain you this value error. So the value error in Microsoft Excel occurs when there is a wrong data type used in a formula or function, meaning Excel cannot perform the calculation because it expects a number, text or other valid data type, but receives something incompatible. Now, see, this is a very long definition. Let us see it by example and then it will be clear for you. So let's say here I'm adding these two values a1 plus b1. Now a1 cell is containing phi which is a number and b1 cell is containing this text which is known as hello. Now see you cannot add the number with the text. Okay. It has to be number with number. So whenever you are having these kind of situation and when you 
go for this kind of addition then definitely you'll be getting the value error whenever the two things are not having the same data type so then you'll be getting the value error so remember this value error okay i felt that you may not be having this idea about this value error so that's why i covered this value error in this particular video so i hope that this not function and the if and a function is clear now we'll continue further with the more logical functions in the upcoming videos see you in the next video thank you very much